The name of this poem is called Asymptomatic. Um, this is for every black person um, who is tired, who is exhausted, who is still here. A white woman from work asks me how I'm enjoying the time off. Her white mom circus has finally calmed down. Her husband can finally pay attention to her. The kids are quiet. The house is clean, so she can't complain. My response, silence. The truth. Well, see, last night I obsessed about my mother's swollen mouth. See, I read online about a black woman who had swollen glands before receiving the positive diagnosis. I think about how doctors would move my mother further down on the priority list of use, of worth to save. I think about how if she said she was in pain, they would probably second guess it. See, that woman was in her 30s. My mother is 50 something and no, I don't actually know how old my own mother is because I am not ready to bury her yet. Then I think about my brother-in-law, how his Southern charm couldn't talk his way out of a West Coastal bullet. How if he was taken, my sister's soul would leave with him, bringing the number of black deaths to two. How the details don't really matter. You can just add his name with the rest. How a mask on his face is how they saw him already. Because what is more terrifying than the eyes of a black man? I think about how this time off is really just a visit from the spirit of death. Checking every house for the scarlet letter and hoping we are the Israelites. This is not a jog in a foolishly crowded or even empty park. It is fear. Hoping that someone is listening that death would pass by our front doorsteps or not even enter without knocking on the front door. The blessings are not the same. They still come in black and white and the bodies we bury are stacked. We have nowhere else to put them. In our hearts, in our minds, in the ground. How many more of us could you possibly want?